Andy Katz here for NCW.com and March Madness with a look at a couple of programs and whether or not they're going to have the best rosters in their program history. Of course, how do we judge that? Well, let's look at maybe the last quarter century and let's project on what could happen with these schools later in the season. Could they end up having maybe their best March Madness ever? So I came up with a list of seven, which I'm sure will be uh, digested and debated. Let's start with Seton Hall. They've got a chance to get to their first Final Four since 1989 and win the national championship. They could certainly win a Big East title along the way. They're led by Miles Powell, Miles Kale. There's a lot of buzz around the Pirates. They've got a chance to have a National Player of the Year, Big East Player of the Year, certainly in Miles Powell. Memphis, whoa, wait a minute. They're coached by a former Memphis player, one of the better NBA players in a long time, when he was healthy, he was just obviously exceptional to watch in Penny Hardaway. So how could this roster be better than when Penny Hardaway played? Well, they've got a potential number one draft pick in James Weissman. Uh, you've got Precious Achua. Uh, they've got a chance to maybe have five freshman starters. And this Memphis team, you know, potentially could be like 2012 Kentucky and win the national championship. Uh, could be the first Memphis team to play for the national championship since that 2008 team coached by John Calipari. So this could end up being one of the best rosters that Memphis has ever had. Davidson, ooh, they're gonna get some pushback on this. 2008, Steph Curry. But let's look overall at this roster, okay? Kellen Grady, John Axel Goodmanson, Luke Frampton. This Wildcat team has a chance, maybe not to get to the Elite Eight, but you never know, uh, like that Davidson team in 08. Uh, they got a chance to win a league title in the Atlantic 10. I, I think you could put this roster overall against that 08 roster. Um, they don't have a player like Steph Curry, but they got a pretty deep roster at Davidson. Utah State, Sam Merrill, uh, you know, you've got uh, a chance there for a back-to-back -back Mountain West Conference Player of the Year. Utah State has a chance to win the league and advance beyond the Sweet 16 get to the Elite Eight. That could be obviously one of Utah State's best teams ever. St. Mary's, they've had Matthew De La Bedova, uh, Patty Mills, Jordan Ford is gonna be like that. But this St. Mary's team could get beyond the second round, into the Sweet 16, maybe an Elite Eight run. That could make this roster one of the best in St. Mary's history. South Florida, led by David Collins, Alexis Yetna, Quincy Radu. This could end up being USF's best roster, but they gotta get to the tournament. And if they get there and advance deeper, then it could end up being USF's best roster ever. And the last team, this may shock some people too. I'm going with Penn State. Lamar Stevens could end up being one of the most decorated players in Penn State history, okay? And if Penn State can go to the Sweet 16 or maybe an Elite Eight, I know that's a bit of a reach, but if it were to happen, we could certainly make a strong argument this could be one of their best rosters. It's certainly young in certain spots, but Lamar Stevens could go down as one of the best players ever in Penn State history. So chew on all that, see what you think, check it out on March Madness.